Android Wear smartwatches have been around for nearly three years now. The main players like LG, Huawei and Asus have tried launching their own take on Android watches with mixed fortunes in a crowded market. Despite this, Mobvoi, a small Chinese startup, successfully crowdfunded their second-gen smartwatches, the TicWatch S and E, on Kickstarter back in July 2017. The TicWatch S, which I'm reviewing, is the sporty of the two, along with greater GPS accuracy. Was it worth the wait? Let's find out. The TicWatch S comes in a choice of three colours, black, white or in-your-face fluorescent green. The 1.4 inch display is surrounded by a sporty looking bezel with bright green numbers and dots. The strap is made of TPU durable, high quality and breathable. In the month using the TicWatch S, the strap has been really comfortable to use and the clasp with two loops has kept the watch snug to my wrist while wearing it all day. Releasing the strap to charge is quick and simple without having to curse at it. The S version of the Tick Watch builds the GPS into the strap for greater accuracy and speed. The design is finished off with a button to the left of the display. It's the one thing that lets down the watch. More times than not you end up pressing it twice as it has no tactile feedback. When you first put on the Tick Watch S you notice the sharp and bright 1.4 inch OLED display. It utilises a full screen compared to some older smartwatches which cut off the bottom and therefore look strange. The screen at 287 dpi is clear in sunlight and at different angles on your wrist. Naturally, with it running Android Wear, you can adjust the brightness, font size and the choice of watch faces. On the always on display, the watch adjusts the watch face from mono to colour depending on your wrist action to conserve battery life. The TicWatch S uses a MediaTek chipset compared to the more expensive Snapdragon powered competition. But fear not, in daily use the watch was snappy and flicking between menus is smooth and effortless. The TicWatch S runs on Android Wear 2. For someone using this OS for the first time, I found it easy and quick to use. The best feature is activating Google Assistant with a long hold of the button or saying OK Google. Mobvoy has really tweaked the voice recognition to perfection, happily used it to send messages, open Google Maps or ask for directions, set reminders and alarms. Plus, if you find yourself in a foreign bar or restaurant, the excellent Google Translate app will come in handy. Of course, you can use the excellent touchscreen to interact with your apps like setting off Google Fit or Runtastic when you want to make use of the GPS while you go running. There's also the option to use the tiny keyboard for your messages or gesture typing by swiping the word on the keyboard. The TicWatch S pricing started at £110, $154 on Kickstarter last year. Now you can grab one for about £137, $192, which is a bargain for the features on this watch. The TicWatch S comes with Bluetooth 4.1, wireless N and of course GPS. However, the trade-off for a smartwatch of this price is that it doesn't come with NFC Android Pay, so no good going up to the coffee shop and flicking your watch at the contactless payment system. The only way to make and receive calls from the Tick Watch is when it's paired with your phone, as it doesn't have a SIM slot. Although through testing, I would stick to making calls with your phone rather than using the watch, as the audio quality is not great. The dedicated TickWatch app is disappointing and sparse. The app gives you a very basic health dashboard of your steps, active hours, exercise time, calories burnt and distance. There's no sleep monitoring or GPS tracking. Thankfully, with the Android Wear ecosystem, the Google Fit app is excellent, offering a lot more features than the TickWatch app. If you prefer, there is the option to install running apps like Runtastic, Strava and RunKeeper. With the built-in GPS tracking, you can leave a phone at home and track your run or walk with the TicWatch S, allowing you to view maps of your run and stats. The built-in heart rate monitor is okay like a lot of watches and fitness trackers out there. Click on the heart rate or Google Fit app to find out your resting heart rate. The TicWatch S has IP67 rated dust and waterproofing. Light rain is okay, but it's not to be worn in the shower or swimming pool. For a sporty watch, I would have expected IP68. 
The TicWatch S is a mixed bag when it comes to battery life, typical of all smartwatches. On one hand, with very light usage, you can easily get over a day's battery with it. Start using the built-in GPS tracking, and this falls into the few hours category. On average, over a month's usage, I found that I had 65% left in the morning if I charged it to full before going to sleep, and always on display turned on. The good news is that it's easy to charge with a magnetic clip that attaches to the underside of the TicWatch S. A full charge only takes just over an hour when plugged into a USB charging point. Therefore, I would routinely top up my battery for 20 minutes before heading out to work. The TicWatch S is aimed at the first timer into the world of smartwatches and Android Wear. It's great value for money, packing plenty of features to keep most people happy. It's not perfect though. It doesn't quite match up to a dedicated fitness tracker or the high-end smartwatches. Battery life is average and the sports features could be better. However, for the price, you won't be disappointed. It's well made, easy to use, and with Android Wear 2, opens a fantastic ecosystem that covers most things that you would want in a smartwatch. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the TicWatch S Android smartwatch. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.